from the fastest summer ever. I hope you all had a chance to recoup and regroup and take care of yourself in whatever way you needed to. This school year feels fresh to me, like it's going to be full of new starts and forward momentum. And I encourage you all to go into it feeling a sense of strength and empowerment after having endured everything that got tossed our way the last couple of years. I encourage you to imagine what you can accomplish with a fresh start surrounded by your colleagues and work friends. Hey Sunnyside, I know we are all eager to get started on this year that will trend toward normal, so let's make it a great one. Good morning. On behalf of NCAA, I want to welcome all employees back for the 22-23 school year. As we come together for a new year, it's exciting to be back together and even more exciting to think about the energy that comes back into our hallways next week. As I think about our students returning, I've been thinking about empowerment. It's not just a word, but an action and idea that's important to all of us here at North Clackamas. The definition of empowerment includes becoming more stronger and more confident. Each of you play an important role in that journey for our students, helping them find their voice, discover what they're passionate about, empower to stand up for others, and make a difference in the future. Each of you are here because of our students, and I am proud of the experience that they have here at North Clackamas. We're ready on the surface, our buildings are beautiful, our kitchens are restocked, and our fields are just waiting for kids to come play. So together, we'll make it another remarkable school year for our students. Thank you for being part of their journey, helping them become stronger, more confident, and find their voices. Have a great school year. Hello everyone, welcome back to school. I'm really excited to get the school year started, as I know all of you probably are as well. We've had a couple of challenging years, but we're just gonna move forward and move past that. I know you're all super excited and thrilled to be back with students, back in the classroom, back on the bus, all of those things. So welcome back. Know that if you need anything, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. You can call me anytime. Welcome back to school. Have a wonderful year. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Rose with the North Clackamas Education Foundation. 30 years ago, NCF was founded to provide educational opportunities to students in the North Clackamas School District. Since then, the foundation has grown out of the belief that equity plays a significant role in the success of a student's education. NCEF's mission is to bridge the gap to ensure students are engaged and ready to learn. We do this by providing support to students, families, and educators throughout the district, providing grants, scholarships, and support to essential services like the food pantry and clothing closet. As we begin a new year, I look forward to working with you and supporting you to ensure all of our students are provided equitable education opportunities. Welcome back. Hi, my name is Mitzi Bauer, Chair of the North Clackamas School District. I first want to sincerely thank our staff for your efforts over the past two and a half challenging years. Each of you was there for our students and families. And when presented with new challenges, you did a pivot, you dug in, you worked even harder to find new ways for each and every student to succeed. You understand the need to remove barriers, and we need to support you. We work as a team, and we have your back. I'm proud of North Clackamas and the early equity work we did, but we need to continue to lead with courage and support all of our policies of equity and apply the lens of equity to each of our decisions. And this is just not words. We need to show by our actions that we honor and respect everyone. I'm forever grateful to North Clackamas for the quality education that our students, my children, receive. And I firmly believe public schools are the equalizer to society and a better way of life for all of us. My best to you and have a great year.
forward to the 2022-23 school year, together we're lacing up our shoes for an incredible journey ahead of us. But before we take those first steps, I think it's important we look back and celebrate the milestones we've accomplished together in just the past few years. With the support of our community for the 2016 Capital Construction Bond, we were able to upgrade all of our schools and even build new schools like Beatrice Moore Kennedy Elementary and a remodeled new urban high school. We've also constructed new athletic fields for both students and community use. School-based health centers providing on-site health care for our students and more welcoming and secure front entries at our elementary schools. Here we are at the newly opened Adrian C. Nelson High School on our school district's east side. This beautiful school opened its doors to more than a thousand students just about a year ago and is thriving as our district's newest school. Or we could head west. Thanks to the amazing efforts of many staff members like you, our district's oldest high school that once looked like this, now looks like this. And in just a couple more weeks, we'll be home to more than 1,100 proud Mustangs, lots of whom were once Rouse Shamrocks, or Ardenwald All-Stars, or Llewellyn Leopards, or Lot Wickham Wolves. You get the idea. The point is, we're on this journey together. No matter which school or which department you call home, our district continues on the path of serving the more than 16,000 students we serve each day. We're ready to set foot on a new path along this journey together. Not only with the start of a new school year, but as we transition to a new strategic plan, which is the roadmap we'll use to align our actions under a collective vision for the next five years. The plan formalizes and communicates what's important in the North Clackamas School District. It identifies our focus and direction, but also allows us to measure our progress towards our strategic priorities and goals. And our community really went the extra mile to help put this plan on the right path. More than 1,200 people provided input on a district survey and more than 200 participated in focus groups. Students gave their input through focus groups and online surveys administered at every school. A huge thank you to every staff, student, family, and community member who participated in the creation of this new guiding document. Let's walk through it together. We can't set out on a journey without knowing our final destination, and that is guided by our mission. Inspiring graduates who are empowered to act with courage in life and strengthen local and global communities. Yep. Just 17 words are guiding us on this new journey. And there are three words right in the middle that I hope leave a lasting footprint in everything you do during the upcoming school year. Act with courage. More on that in a little bit. Notice the four strategic points of this plan. Think of these as our strategic priorities or focus areas. They are the landmarks that will help us confirm that we're on the right path towards achieving our district vision which includes building relationships with students to honor their cultural heritage, fostering their physical, social, and emotional well-being, and cultivating a joy in learning. So what are these strategic points? What do they mean? This is our strategic plan. Student experience and success. We prepare each student through engagement, effective instruction, empowerment, and skill development in order to succeed in life and career. People and culture. We foster a welcoming and affirming environment through intentional, culturally inclusive practices where all students and employees are equipped to perform at their highest levels. Family and community collaboration. We elevate student achievement and well-being through collaboration and active partnership with families and community. Resources and services! 
We maximize resources and services through strategic investment, innovative practices, and continuous improvement processes to strengthen the school community and advance student outcomes. All of this is held up by our district's core values, values that must exist in each of our district spaces every day for every student. Equity, relationships, integrity, empowerment, care. Now it's easy to talk the talk about strategic points, but how are we going to walk the walk and make sure we fulfill the mission that we set for ourselves in this plan? Well, we're going to take each step together. And as I mentioned before, we're going to start by focusing on those three words right in the middle. Act with courage. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Nelson Mandela. Powerful words from Nelson Mandela. Courage, mental and moral strength, bravery, determination, and fortitude. Each of us has had to face a time when courage was essential, standing up for what is right, facing a fear even when afraid, ending a hurtful relationship or starting a new one, taking on a new job, finishing a degree, having a child. What does courage mean to you? When was a time when you were courageous? Whose courage has impacted you? I felt most courageous when I had to go on stage by myself. When I moved into a new school and and made new friends. When I went to my first ballet performance. When I fell on my scooter and I hurt my chin and I had to go to the emergency room, but I, it was perfectly fine. <laughs> when I had my first volleyball game, I was really scared, but then we won. When I saved someone when they were riding a bike and about to crush. It's probably being in front of this camera and being able to express myself on this in this type of way. Making new friends with different people I didn't know. That my dad teach me how to swim in the big pool at Seattle and I did it all by myself. When I went first to get my shots to show my sister that it was safe. Was when I stand up for my friend was the first day of school because I thought I wasn't going to make any friends. But you did? Yeah, I made a lot of friends. Going to a fifth grade class and fixing one of their problems, I couldn't believe that I was teaching fifth grade. Was when I was in first grade and I thought I wouldn't, wasn't going to make any friends. Did you make friends? Mm-hmm. When we went swimming to a river, family told me to jump off a huge rock into the river, and I did it, and I, was, I felt like really scared, but I realized it was quite fun. One time when I was most brave was when I fell off my bike and landed on my face, and I had to go to the hospital, and I had to get stitches, and I was scared to get the stitches, but then after, I actually kind of felt good about it, because, well, I was brave, and I did it. That's right, you did. When I bought on a roller coaster where I really, I thought I would be scared, but it was actually kind of fun. When I was playing basketball, and I had to make the final shot. I didn't think I had enough time to finish the test, but I did, and I got 100%. So my bravest moment was when I tried to do a backflip. I landed on my head. I didn't succeed, but it didn't stop me. I did it. I tried to do it again. I practiced, and I succeeded. The strategic plan is our call to action. It will help us shape the future of our students for years to come. It stands on our district's equity focus as we are committed to examining and improving our systems by affirming students' many identities while building inclusive, barrier-free schools and workplaces. And to implement it successfully, it's gonna take courage. Courage by all of us to take on new challenges. Courage to help each and every one of our students achieve their dreams. Courage to overcome uncertainty, apprehension, doubt, fear, and the unknown. Courage requires vulnerability to show up, to be oneself, and most importantly, to take that next step. As a district, as a team of 2,000 plus employees, 
Let's take those steps together, starting today. Let's partner with our families and community to inspire our graduates to be empowered to act with courage in their lives. Just as we encourage our students, we build positive relationships, uphold integrity, and show care for one another. And as we step closer and closer towards students' first days of school, I encourage you to think about how you will act with courage on behalf of each one of them. No matter where you work in this district, your courageous actions, no matter how large or how small, will make a positive difference in our students' lives. I wish all of you the best as we venture into this upcoming school year. Thanks to all of you, our district's new strategic plan is already off on the right foot. I look forward to walking this path together.